Welcome to pre-math. In this video lesson, we have got a rectangle A, C, D, E, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that some of these two angles, alpha and beta, is 90 degrees. And moreover, the length of this line segment EB is 84 units, and the length of this other line segment BD is 35. And now we are going to calculate this distance AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. These angles alpha and beta are complementary angles. And here's the definition of complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. Now we can see that this angle E is 90 degrees. This is our angle alpha. Then this angle has got to be angle beta because angles alpha and beta are complementary angles. And likewise, this angle D is 90 degree as well. And we know that this angle is beta then this angle has got to be alpha. And now let's focus on this triangle ABE. We know that this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is alpha. And we know that the sum of the angles of this triangle is going to be 180 degrees. So that means this angle has got to be beta since uh, alpha and beta are once again complementary angles. And now let's focus on this other triangle BCD. This is also a right triangle. This angle is beta. Then this angle has got to be alpha. And now let's focus on this other triangle EBD as you can see over here. And we know that the sum of the angles in this triangle is 180 degrees and if I call this angle theta this one angle theta then the sum of these angles angle alpha angle beta and angle theta must be 180 degrees let me go ahead and write down angle alpha plus angle beta plus angle theta must be equal to 180 degrees but we know angle alpha plus beta is 90 degrees so here alpha plus beta i'm going to replace it by 90 degrees plus angle theta equals to 180 degrees now let's go ahead and subtract 90 degrees from both sides this is gone so our angle theta turns out to be 180 minus 90 degrees is going to be 90 degrees. So that means this angle theta turns out to be 90 degrees. So therefore, this triangle EBD is indeed a right triangle. And now we know that this triangle EBD is a right triangle. Therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate this side length ED. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And this is ED is our longest leg, which is hypotenuse. I'm going to call this side C. And these two other legs are 35 and 84. So let's go ahead and apply this uh, Pythagorean formula. ED, this one I'm going to write down, ED square equals to, this side length is 35 square plus uh, the other side length is 84 square. Let's go ahead and add them up. So that is going to give us 82, 81. Now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides, this side and this side. This square and square root is gone. So ED side length turns out to be positive 91. 
Now, since ED represents the side length, it must be a positive value. No wonder I put down positive 91. So thus our side length ED turns out to be 91 units as you can see over here. And here's another way to calculate this side length ED by using these Pythagorean triplets. And here we can see that we can use this 5, 12, 13. If we multiply all these sides by 7, so this 5 times 7 is 35. And then 12 times 7 is 84 and this 13 times 7 is 91. Therefore, our triplets is going to be 35, 84, and 91. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular BF. Let's suppose that uh, point F is on this side length ED, and if we draw this uh, perpendicular on B, this is 90 degrees. Here's our much nicer looking diagram and we can see that this uh, side length EF is equal to this side length AB. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two right triangles EFB and the other right triangle is EBD. And let's focus on this triangle EFB over here we know that this angle is 90 degrees this angle is beta then this angle has got to be alpha since alpha and beta are complementary angles then we conclude that these two right triangles efb and this other triangle ebd are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity property so therefore we are going to have a proportions and we are going to equate these ratios over here we can see that this ef divided by this eb let me write down ef divided by eb equals to this uh, eb divided by this whole length ed now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so ef divided by eb in our case is 84 equals to eb is 84 once again divided by ed is 90 one. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 84. So this 84 and 84 is gone. And now if we pl multiply these numbers, so our EF value turns out to be 7056 divided by 91. But we know that our AB length equals to EF. So I can replace this EF by AB length turns out to be 7056 divided by 91. And that is our answer. So thus our distance AB turns out to be a 7056 divided by 91 unit or approximately equal to 77.54 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.